Welcome to the Shasta Nuclear Silo Show's Hour of Nature. I'm your host, Randall Wetzig. Here we are arriving at the arrival site for today's adventure out in the wilderness. Now this is what most inexperienced hikers know as a hiking map. But I'm going to tell you today, this is something different. What you see behind me here is not just a map, this is a reconnaissance orbit positioner. Using very specific mathematical models, one can translate the points on this map to an infinite number of possible location variances. That's what I'm gonna show you how to do today. So keep your eyes peeled and those pocket calculators handy because we're gonna get serious. Welcome to the Wenatchee Wilderness Area, famed in Northern Ireland for its verdant life, extensive vistas, and lack of any human resources of any kind. I've uh, been hiking for about six days now and I'm out here in the wilderness with nothing around me except nature, which makes the perfect setting for this year's episode of the Shasta Nuclear Silo Show, Hour of Nature, entitled The Wilderness. How to survive it, how to conquer it, and how to live without it, or with it, or in it, if you prefer. As you can see behind me, no one can live forever. That's a work in progress. Not a literal bulldozer, mind you but the figurative bulldozer of our minds as our technological prowess encroaches on the wilderness that is today northern U Yugoslavia's richest and most, oops, most desperately climated region. This is the Bangladeshi wilderness known to locals as the Khim de la Froid ni Khim de Tu, which translated means the cream of the frond that is for you. Gangs today are really just tribal groups as they were in yesteryear, except now they have automatic weapons and drugs. We're heading up the mountain to the summit of Dulaquesh, which to the natives has been a shrine for many centuries to their heathen deities. Now you just have to believe me when I say that this hill that we've been climbing for the last hour is steeper than it looks. When I do this with the camera, you can see that I'm actually standing on quite a steep slope. That's because uh, the eye of the camera, unlike the eye of man, doesn't have the graphical capabilities known as direct repositioning, which filter the light through a lens actuated with the gravity of Earth's magnetic field. Now, this repositioning helps us to define tiltular modulation. As you can see, this hill looks like it's a normal hill, right? Would you believe that to human eyes, the hill should look something more like this? It's actually extremely steep. As you can see, I'm standing on the edge of a cliff. My feet locked in below me using the toenails for support. Looks like nature's beast has shed its coat once again here in the dramatic wastelands of southern Uruguay. A zebra spotted for its coat decided to ditch its coat in favor of a more camouflaged visage. As you can see this skin has been here for quite some time already accruing little growths of endoplasmic reticulum. Is man so great that he can defy the sun? 
This is what most people call an Echo Canyon or a Velicus trostalis. Um, that's the geological term for it. What an Echo Canyon does is amplifies a person's own voice back to them so that they hear their voice as if coming from the opposite side of a hill. This is done because of the air temperature, the way sound waves bend. Anyway, I'll, I'll give you a show. I'll show you, <laughs> show you what it's like. <coughs> Echo! Hello! Hello! Who's there? Richard! Stone. The crickets begin to chirp their lively serenade as the sun settles towards its westerly abode, creating the aura of nightfall that has yet to come. Now this stone used to be used for what man calls uh, castles in the ancient age, but we use it today for things like putting on the ground or throwing at lakes or other stones, uh, playing games like skip the stone or see the stone. Um, stone has become a major source of energy in For the next portion of our show, we're going to head down this dusty road. Keep your wits about you because it's going to be a spooky ride. Taking that abysmal leap towards the unknown, pairing ourselves with nature's wings as we soar upon ethereal cloud banks of glory into the silent darkness of an unknown sunset. Contemplating scathely words said to loved ones upon departure or irrefuted relocations beknownst to none but our dearly departed. If you're ever in need of a soothing drink, just take a couple of these little guys. Camalcius Vinaculus and make a delightful tea. It smells like lemon. An omen foreboding of the future. A mystic temple calling its own. A timeless relapse into forgotten realms. This Sunday, on C-SPAN, it's Weird Temple in the Hills with Carl Jones. I was always told not to eat the red berries, but what if the red berries weren't red any longer? Now I can eat them all I like. Mmm, <coughs> foggy. The fogs of nevermore wind their way again. The fogs of a deep Scottish morning find us again, trying to find the fogs of a Scottish morning leave us trying to find our way through this lonely valley. The fogs of a deep Scottish morning find us again, alone. Trash, one of the many ills of mankind. These paranja bushes provide excellent cover for the deer stalker. Some poor little bunny lost its heart on the trail today. Better save that for later. Ow, ow. Uh, oh gosh, that's covered with spikes. As you can see, I've made the mistake of trying to pick up a cactus. I thought it was a little bunny heart by the side of the trail. It's not so bad that these are stuck in my fingers, but I just put it in my pocket, and I don't know how I'm going to get it out. Little bird, little chavila, ya da 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 da, ya da 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 da, ya da 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 do do. On behalf of all of us here at the Shasta Nuclear Silo Show Hour of Nature, I'd just like to say thanks for joining us again. And we hope to see you next time. We will see you next time. I've always heard that skipping is the best way to go down a hill in the dark. <laughs> <laughs>